My name is Anna Flannery. And my name is Sheila Ryan. And we're from Salishan College Secondary School. And our project is co comparing the nutritional value of horse meat to other meats. And how did you get the idea for the project? And we got the idea from the project when the horse meat scandal broke out and we were wondering if horse meat is actually more of a nutritionist than beef or any other meats. And we got the result and we found out that horse meat is more nutritionist. It has less cholesterol and less fat. It has more protein and um, it has less fanta and it has less calories. Yeah. And well, how did you go about researching your project? Uh, so when the scandal broke last year, we decided to collect a few newspapers and then we did a bit of uh, Google research and then we kind of left it. And then in September, we heard about the BT Young Scientist and then we started uh, gathering more information and we came together as a group. We approached our teacher and we went to the library and we got collected loads of newspaper articles and got all our facts and put them together. And then we showed our results and we did plenty of surveys online um, on Facebook and we got people's opinion on what they think of horse meat and only 5% knew or 5% didn't know the actual facts on horse meat if that it was more nutritious with the cholesterol they didn't know about the cholesterol or they didn't know about the calories or the iron because it's more iron and Irish people don't traditionally eat horse meat whereas other countries would yeah we found out that Irish people see horses more as pets than an animal that you eat so we kind of tried to change people's mind and even in the news yesterday there was there's a crisis going on right now how there's too many horses and they're thinking of slaughtering them so we said why not put them to use and you can make meat out of them. Do you think that many people would eat horse meat if they were given the opportunity? Yeah we found we actually taste horse meat and it's like uh, beef but it's like black and it's sugary but we found we couldn't get it in Ireland so we imported it from England and there was no uh, we, we visited many butchers and everything and they couldn't get us horse meat so we had to order online and brought it in but they eat it in other countries as any other meat and a horse when it's uh, a race horse it only has four years in its prime so we think that when it shouldn't be like just killed, it should be put to use. But some horses are given um, injections and they can't be used because they're and poisonous and steroids. It's dangerous for humans. But if we know what's in our horse meat and we could eat it, it would be put to good use.